Hello, welcome to Daryl's Beekeeping Videos. I'm a master beekeeper and tonight's lesson is on which size high body and frames should you use? And I'll tell you that the answer to that is it's an individual choice. Some beekeepers like to use an all deep setup which holds about eight pounds of honey per frame and then they only have to worry about one frame size which is a deep frame other beekeepers like to use an all medium setup so again they only have to worry about one frame size a medium which holds about four to six pounds of honey per frame and then the third uh, choice that's available generally only used for cut comb honey only is the shallow frame and corresponding box again because it is shallow uh, it's typically only used for cut comb honey because it's kind of impractical to use it for a brood chamber. So again, it's your personal choice. I personally use deep hive bodies for my brood chambers and I use the medium sized boxes and frames for my honey supers. And the reason for that is if I ever do any treatments for mites or diseases, I know to take off my honey supers and set them aside and any and in my case, I use organic treatments only, uh, such as formic acid, which is a normal, uh, a natural chemical found in nature, um, and is actually considered an organic treatment. Um, so again, I will take off my honey supers regardless of that and still set that aside, even though it's an organic treatment. And then I will treat for my mites or any diseases in my deep high bodies and any uh, honey that's in those boxes, I let the bees keep for themselves and then after the treatment is done, I put my medium supers back on top during the nectar flow and any honey that's in those will be used for human consumption. But again, it's an individual choice and I realize that when I purchase frames, I have to purchase two different frame sizes. Again, it's an individual choice. Uh, so, so that's your very first choice is that you have to make is what size depth of box and corresponding frames you're going to use. The next thing you're going to need to decide on which high body to use, are you going to go with a 10 frame box, which is the one that's on the bottom, which is, and again, you should be able to see the dimensions written in your videos, which is typically, uh, depending on the manufacturer, it is uh, nine and five eighths inch tall by 16 and a quarter inch wide, the box itself. Next up is the uh, medium size height. Uh, again, um, and then in, in this case, it's a, uh, this is a five frame. And a five frame is six and five eighths inches high by um, nine and a quarter inches wide, the box itself. And then lastly, up on top is the eight frame and the shallow. So eight frames, as the name implies, is it's eight frames wide and a shallow um, on the depth. The depth is either uh, five and seven eighths or four and three quarters. It does come in a different, couple different sizes um, by, again, this is an eight frame, so it is 13 and three quarters inch wide. Uh, there are pros and cons to each of the deeps and the mediums, again, because those are typically what's used for high bodies. Some people prefer the tins. Uh, especially if you're raising queens, you get more bees in there, so you get more nurse bees, which helps out the um, the raising of the queen cells, the, the larvae and the pupae in the uh, queen cells. Um, so again, some people prefer the uh, 10 frame. Other people prefer this eight frame size because it's a little less uh, bees, it's a little less honey, and it's easier to move around and then you could also use a five frame, excuse me, let fell off. You could also use a five frame, and this is what I used for my very first year, is I used five frame, they also call a nucleus colony boxes, and I went through my first year with seven of these, double deep uh, configuration, two deep bodies stacked on top of each other, and I came out of the winter with all seven. Next year I came out with, uh, 10 frame equipment and I lost all but one high, but I think it's mostly because of diseases I wasn't familiar with, uh, such as being transmitted by the um, Varroa mite. Um, as I got uh, more educated in my uh, third year, 
I didn't have as much problems. Uh, I personally, in my own apiary, I prefer the eight frame wide for most of my high bodies and I use the deeps, as I stated earlier, for brew chambers and I use the mediums depth for my honey supers and then I will also have some nucleus size boxes, the five frame boxes, uh, whenever I make splits for. Um, the disadvantage to if, if you are using a five frame box your first year, realize that the bees are going to fill out the, the frames very quickly and you'll get congestion in the brood chamber which causes them to raise queen cells so you may have a lot more swarming uh, if you mind that type of thing. So again the most common is an 8 frame or a 10 frame. Um, again I personally use the 8 frames and then I've had older beekeepers or beekeepers that have bad backs ask me what they do uh, in that case. So in my case uh, I also have a bad back from being in the military uh, for 25 years. Um, what I do is I raise up my hives on a 18 inch tall hive stand and I have a couple of cinder blocks so if I need to stand up and look deep and into the boxes I can do that until I start removing the boxes for my inspections. The other thing you can do is um, if you have a bad back is you can simply take an, a spare box if you have to move out frames and move them out a little bit at a time uh, so that way you're not lifting a whole lot, a lot of uh, weight. So again if you have an eight frame box eight times eight pounds in the case of a deep that's what 64 pounds plus the weight of the box that's a lot of weight so to take it easy on my back I simply have a either a spare box that I'll use or uh, a lot of people will buy these plastic nucleus colony boxes uh, the brand name is uh, pro nuke and they'll simply transfer five frames in that and make it easier to carry around and then I've had some beekeepers tell me that what they do is they also take a small child's tow wagon uh, or garden wagon and they'll put a box in there and put the frames inside that again typically in one of those pro, uh, pro nuke boxes or in a spare uh, high body and they'll tote the frames off that way should they need to um, so again there's lots of ways to mitigate if you have a bad back um, so again back to the original uh, purpose of this video is which frame to choose for you, which high body is totally an individual choice based on your body uh, and your physical condition uh, and what you want to go with. Whether you want to buy a single frame, whether it be a deep or a medium, or you want to go a combination like I do because of the mite treatments uh, and chemical treatments that I might use for diseases and pests, I use deeps for my uh, brew chambers and mediums for my honey supers. And then from there, you got to decide on how wide you want to go. Again, either a five frame, an eight frame that fell off the table, or a 10 frame. Um, and again, it just comes down to an individual choice. Uh, so thank you for watching the video and uh, have a great day.